Hi, I'm Kevin Bassaro with Overwork Binoculars, and today we're going to talk about the Overwork 5000 head. In this case, it's sitting on our Tier 3 hardwood tripod in solid walnut. Uh, we have the carbon fiber elevator for instant height adjustment. Let's talk about the head. The first thing to be aware of with a head like this, is true of all video heads, including uh, Manfrotto, is that they only reach zenith, which is straight up, in one direction. So if I tilt it back this way, you can see it will go straight up. It won't go straight up in this direction. It hits this knob here, stops short. So for binocular usage, we want to make sure that we're using it in the direction where we can point the binocular straight up, which means the handles attach at the front and run to the back. Another advantage to that, they don't stick out so far to the back, so they're not going to be in our way when we're trying to get close to the binocular. And I'm going to leave the left side handle off for a minute. And the reason is we need to be able to operate this knob and the handle's going to interfere with that a little bit. So when we put the binocular on the head, the first thing we want to do is kind of angle it in, catch the quick release, one corner of the quick release plate on the top of the head, and then kind of straighten it out and then go right back in. And you hear that click and that's a safety feature. The quick release plate will go fore and aft, but it won't allow the binocular to fall off. So we want to get the uh, quick release plate centered on the head and then tighten that knob on the left side here. And that locks it in place. And now we can um, add our second handle. Perfect. Okay, next thing we want to do is adjust the drag which is the knob on the left side labeled plus minus. And we're gonna bring it toward the uh, plus side to put some drag on this bearing so that when we tilt the binocular back, it stays put. So we steer it, point it at anything we want, let go, and it stays put. So we just wanna find that, that perfect balance. There's a knob on the right side labeled lock. We normally leave that loose, but if you wanna lock down the binocular in a certain position, you can do that. And it's, not going to move. So like I said, we normally leave that loose. Same thing with the altitude bearing, which is our left right. We can lock that down as well with this knob here. And that's pretty much it. Other than removing the binocular, um, of course, we're going to go back to that teardrop shaped knob on the left side. I'm going to loosen the handle in this case just to get it out of the way so I can access that knob. We're going to loosen that. Now we can move the binocular forward, but it stops. So what we want to do is go to this knob here labeled turn. This is the uh, release. So we're going to turn this knob, push forward slightly, and then make sure we have a good hand on the handle, and then push it all the way off. And that's it. Thanks for watching.